Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's great to have you here and I'm excited about what's coming up. And what's coming up is a river cruise next November, the 12th through the 19th. I really hope that you'll join me. It's a group cruise, so bring your friends, family, um, any of my sorority sisters out there. I'd love for you to come. It's going to be a great time. So let's get started. It's in Bordeaux, France, if you weren't here last week, the southwest part of France, about 310 miles south of um, Paris. And so uh, tonight, I just want to go over a little bit about the ship, and then I'm going to share with you uh, the details of the itinerary. I think that's important for you to know just kind of what we're going to be doing. And then we will go into the staterooms and kind of show you what they look like. Um, there's not that much variation on them because um, the river cruise is kind of small. And then I'm going to show with you, share with you the exclusive pricing that I've been able to work out with Alma Waterways. Again, it's Alma Waterways that we'll be sailing on going to Bordeaux, France next November. Um, Alma is one of the great cruise lines in Europe. And so um, I'm excited to join with them and partner with them to make this a great cruise for you. One of the things that makes this so special is that this is a wine cruise. So those wine lovers out there, please join me for this event. This is going to be awesome. Can you imagine um, a wine cruise means just that? There's lots of wine. The other thing it means that Alma Waterways has created many experiences for us to enjoy um, different tastes of wine and different pairings with the food that they will um, locally get from the cities and the ports that we go to and then cook for us. And they pair it up with the, uh, uh, the right wine. And so um, some of us are just regular wine drinkers and don't get too fancy. And then others are connoisseurs uh, of wine. So this will be a great addition um, to your really to your taste palette there, um, to be able to taste these old world wines and um, with your new world palette. So let's just get, jump into it. Um, I want to share my screen with you. So give me a minute to do that. So sharing, we'll go right here to share. And go to this big screen right here. Okay, well, hang on one second. You know what I want to do? I want to make sure that the sound and everything. So that is more. And we are going to see if optimize full screen. Yeah, full screen for video, share computer sound. That's what I want to make sure that we have. Okay, so now we're. We're rocking on all cylinders here. Okay, so again, I'm Paige Hurd, um, the owner of All Love Travel. Thanks again for joining me tonight. We're going to get started by sharing with you the, our agenda. And so tonight, we're just going to talk about the ship, the itinerary, and then the exclusive, exclusive, exclusive pricing, and then finally, just what's next. So let's look at it. Alma Waterways has um, a few ships, and we're going to be on the Alma Dolce. The Alma Dolce has 73 staterooms, which will um, be available, which will house or, um, you know, be, will be for 144 passengers. I don't know quite how to word that. Um, they have about 45 crew members, so that's a great uh, crew to passenger ratio, about a one to three. So you know you get great care. They're going to do everything they can to um, provide for us and give us the best experience um, ever on the river. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you some interior pictures. So just take a glance at these. Up there in the um, upper left-hand corner is the main dining restaurant that we will um, eat most of our meals in. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is provided on this cruise. You remember when I told you at... Um, last week was at lunch and at dinner, they provide unlimited amounts of wine, beer, and soft drinks. So for those non-drinkers, um, you can have all the soft drinks that you want. So great unlimited um, beverages package, no, no, no additional cost. And then down in the lower right corner, if you look down there, you see um, the other dining room is a smaller, more intimate setting, and that's called the chef's table. So it's a chef's table restaurant. We have to have reservations. We will eat in there at least once during the week during our cruise. And then you just see the Ama Dolce. You see the boat right there, um, the ship. 
and those are French balconies. That's what the majority of the rooms are. That's what all our rooms will be. Um, there are no step out balconies, but the French balconies are great. And your, your room becomes um, your balcony itself. So it's a wonderful experience. And then down in the lower um, left corner, you see the sun deck. And wow, look at that pool. Isn't that big? Ah, just joking. That's the whirlpool. That's the only pool on board. Again, what all can you fit on a river cruise? Not much. Um, it is a floating five-star hotel, though. That's what makes this great a great experience is that you unpack once and then for the rest of the cruise you just go and enjoy different towns so no unpacking anymore and then all of a sudden that cruise lot will um, be there for you at the end of the evening and you go and relax in the nice areas that they have on board so speaking about being on board let's see what the decks have for us so we start at the top and um, let me just get my cursor here um, there it is right there. So we just start up at the top deck and up there we have the observation deck. So you're able to look out. And then right here is the navigation bridge, um, the wheelhouse basically where all the mechanics are in the sense of the, the captain um, driving the boat, the ship. And then there's our great big whirlpool. Um, and then next we have, um, the bicycles are st stacked up there for us to be able to access any time that we're in port. You're able to go to the city, through the city on a bicycle. Won't that be so much fun? And then um, you have the track. There is a walking track for you to continue to maintain your exercise regime if you have one. And then we go down to the violin deck, and that's where a lot of our state rooms are that we're going to be staying in. Um, if your state room uh, is a category A or even a B, um, but definitely the suites, they're all on the violin deck. On the violin deck, you have um, the bow seating, and then um, you have a main lounge and bar right there. So that's where a lot of the briefings are, the safety briefing, and some entertainment happens in that area. And then along that area, you have a gift shop, you have the reception, like there's a little staircase there that's pretty, pretty quaint, and a, a teeny little like library computer area and then you have the state rooms and then if you go to the back of the ship um, you will have the massage and hair salon and a fitness area and then that's where the chef's table restaurant is is there at the end of the at the end of the ship and I know there's a technical term that for that but it's not coming to me right now and then on the cello deck um, the next level down is uh, you have uh, the main dining area and that's where the main dining area is that we'll eat most of our meals there. And then there's the elevator there for people that need um, some, have some mobility issues to get from the top deck to the cello deck. Um, and then you have all those staterooms. That's our staterooms. There's not many, there's only um, maybe category um, A that I'm gonna share with you. There's probably about only 13. And then category B, there are maybe 22. So, I mean, they're gonna sell out quick. So I'm just gonna encourage you, as soon as you know that you can do this cruise, hey, don't hesitate, give me a call and let's make this happen. So right now, let's go ahead and um, let's look at the itinerary. So here you go. Before the cruise even happens, you can start having some fun. You can fly over early and do what they call a pre-cruise. And as you can see from the map, what you would be doing is flying into Bilbao, Spain, and you spend two nights in this, this great area of Bilbao, Spain, the rich culture and flavors of Spain that you get to enjoy. And then you will um, enjoy an excursion that's provided, um, you know, with the, the fee that you pay for this pre-cruise. And then um, you, they will transfer you over to another part of Spain, to the seaside resort in San Sebastian. So, that's pretty awesome pre-cruise stuff right there. So a four night adventure before the cruise even begins. And then they'll take you to the cruise ship in Bordeaux. There, um, the, the post package is leaving the ship when it ends, the cruise ends. Then you go to Lura, Lure, Lura. I, okay, I'm already from the South. I'm, I'm challenged in speaking definitely French is a challenge. So the Loire Valley, and you know, I don't know if you know this, but Leonardo um, da Vinci 
lived in that area and he is buried in that area. So that may be something that you'll be able to see. And then they will transfer you on up to Paris, to Romantic Paris for one night before you um, head out from that area. So pretty good pre and post. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. And we'll add that to your cruise experience. So with each of the pre-cruise, post-cruise, you get the breakfast and you get the excursion and then all the transfers. So now we're to the cruise. The first day we get on board. So many of you have flown in this day from Paris and you'll arrive, you'll um, get on board and the D right there stands for dinner. That's what the meal that day that is provided is dinner. So you'll see on other days it will be BLD, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, that's what those are. So aboard in the wonderful wine capital of France. Um, so exciting to be there. So embarkation. And then um, on day two, we will um, go to Bordeaux, I mean from Bordeaux to Le Bourne. And um, before that, I want to just show you a, a video of um, one of the excursions that we will all go on either by bike or um, just by a walking tour. So just check this out. Okay, this sound is not working. That's the reason why. For its beautiful architecture and vineyards that were first introduced to the land by the Romans. As you tour this village, you will encounter underground monuments like a monolithic church and hermitage. As you take a bike tour through this village, you will enjoy stunning landscapes and pass by famous wine estates and visit a chateau where you'll indulge in a Grand Cru Classé wine tasting. Visit saint Emilion on our Taste of Bordeaux itinerary. saint Emilion, okay, for a Grand Cru Classé wine tasting. Pretty awesome. So I'm excited about that. Then we get to day three. In day three, we will um, be in Le Bourne. For the day, we'll go to an indoor market and be able to taste all the local specialties that they offer. Um, that will be good to the senses, to the sights. Um, it will be a great place for us to enjoy. Then we'll start going into a chateau, or a chateau that's an impressive 19th century castle. Um, it'll be great. And then one of the things that's cool about this place is in Le Bourne, you can go and see where the first of vines of this region in Le Bourne were planted over 2,000 years ago. I mean, this is pretty awesome stuff right here. I'm excited about seeing this, um, just the creation, where it all started, the rich history, and just hearing as our wine host kind of shares even more details with us on the cruise. Um, and if those that want some more activity, activity level, hey, more power to you, go hike. You can hike through the vineyards and enjoy yourself and reward yourself at the end of it with some um, wine and some tapas and wine, I mean some um, tastings, tapas tastings. So now we will then sail that night to Belay and the next day in Belay, you get to go see a 17th century citadel um, that's part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. And you can even, even there bike. Um, almost every day you're able to bike. So we are praying for good weather to be there in France in November. Um, but if not, just put on some weather clothes, um, put on a poncho or a rain jacket or something and get out there on the bikes and um, enjoy the scenery. Because we're going rain or shine. It's gonna be an awesome, Awesome time just out there enjoying all the sights and the sounds um, of France. So do a bike tour around Belay if you want to, all the way we can um, then go to Borg, to the countryside of Borg. And it's just uh, gonna be a beautiful time um, looking at different things. One of the opportunities that you get to have there is to go to a carriage museum. And so that's just horse-drawn vehicles, um, just a collection of them that we get to see there. And then we get to join a, an exclusive wine festival just for us. 
And so there's going to be lots of wine, lots of dancing, and live music. So uh, a, a lot of fun times there that evening. So I have a feeling that will be a late night for us. The next day, we will hopefully wake up in time to make our next tour in Payak. Um, it's just a, a village on the left bank, and it's renowned for some of the world's finest Bordeaux wines. Um, so we will begin go to chateau after chateau and some vineyards and more wine tastings and just um, just enriching our, our 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 palate for and our love for wine. So uh, a, another great day that will end um, there, and then we will be going to Cadillac, um, France. And I, I really just want to show you this video of a castle that we'll get to go inside of. Um, you get to see it's been around for, it's been occupied for over 700 years, really by the same family, generation after generation. They've preserved it. Um, so take a look at this. Rocktart Castle was built in 1306 and it has been owned and lived in by the same family for 700 years. The main interest in Rocktart is that this family for 700 years have tried to make their fortress livable, which explains why inside Rocktart you have the Renaissance and then you have the 19th century with the work of Viola Le Duc on the ground floor. I hope you'll all come and you can discover for yourself what is going on inside this castle. Yay! Oh, castles. Um, that will be a lot of fun. And then that night we get to go on an illumination cruise at night where things are lit up for us and just the glow of um, the Bordeaux region down there. So it's going to be awesome. Um, you know, I, I think I say awesome a lot. And then day seven, we are back in Bordeaux and we'll get to do a tour of the city um, via bike. And we'll go to see, um, we'll see the city of art and history and hang on, got it. Hang on one second. Well, let me pause here. Stop sharing. Hang on one second, guys. Okay, so let's keep going. Got people entering the, the room, and so thanks. Here we go. So we. Okay. Resume slideshow here. Okay, we're all the way to the, almost the last day. So we're going to be in Bordeaux and we'll take the city tour of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, do a city of art and art history, um, and then we'll get to go to a Bordeaux wine museum. So fun, again, more bicycles. You see all these guys on the bicycles. I think that, that you will be spending a lot of time on bikes, but if biking isn't your thing, don't worry about it. They have. Um, motor coaches, well not really motor coaches, but little vans, um, Mercedes Benz vans that will get us around. And a lot of it is just uh, walking distance. So you don't have to even go that far. Just the biking just makes it sometimes a little bit more interesting, a little bit more active for people that want that. And th then on the last day, all things must come to an end. I'm so sorry, but in Bordeaux, we get off the cruise and, but it doesn't have to end for you if you decide to do the post cruise, then you can go through France all the way up to, to Paris and have three more additional nights added on. So, but we get off the cruise in Bordeaux and many people will be flying back home after that. So I, I hate it that hasn't come to an end, but it does. So that is on November 19th that it will end. And then I just wanna share with you the staterooms. Um, if you just take a glance here at the screen, uh, you see the different staterooms that are available to us. We have suite, a category A and a category B. Um, again, there's not much difference between A and B. Um, the size of them is, is exactly the same. It, it, it's just there's a li little, little differences and mostly it's where it's located on the ship. And that's really the main difference between category A and category B. 
and and then the suites um, give you a lot more perks. I'm going to let you go to the website and see that um, just because of, of time. But you see a bottle of champagne uh, that's included. Okay, and then fruit, and they have a, a, a mini bar in there. So there's there's a little bit more that's included in a suite, um, but they all have the French balconies. So you see the layout there. Now to what you've been waiting for, um, here's the pricing. Again, I've got you exclusive pricing for the suites, um, category A and category B, uh, that I worked with on the waterways and um, the pricing that shows up on the website and on the brochures that you would see is this price. This is what you would be paying for um, the suites, uh, the state rooms, if you were to go and just call in and make the reservation yourself. But because of um, the connections and talking with them and negotiating the price for you, I said, hey, my friends deserve something better. So here we go. It's not that price, but it's this. So for um you get all the same stuff again you get the wine cruise you get all the things that i told you were included the in the last week's webinar i told you the unlimited wine beer soft drinks wi-fi excursions you see on ocean cruises you remember you got to pay for those but not on the river cruise it's included in the price so just think what all you get for that price right there and then you get to enjoy it with all your friends so come on board this pricing is an exclusive pricing, so again, you won't be able to dial in and call them up or look at, find it on the website, um, but it's only for a limited time. It's only gonna be through um, November 30th. So I'm encouraging, I'm imploring you, please um, get in touch with me as soon as you can and get um, on board. All it takes is a $400 deposit and that will secure your stateroom. So find a roommate um, for my sorority sisters out there. If you would, just um, call one of your sisters up, get a roommate for all those wine lovers out there. Um, maybe invite your spouse, the two of you come, you're both wine lovers and enjoy it. Maybe it's your anniversary or a great big celebration that you have coming up. Like me, number 55, um, you can come on this wine cruise and celebrate together. Um, so, Again, it's limited time, so what's next? Um, November 6th will be another opportunity that um, you'll have to just ask me questions. I'll be on the webinar, so we'll have question and answers. You're gonna be able to call in or do the little chat, chat and ask the questions. Uh, and, and then also, that's when deposits, I'll, I'll be taking deposits that night. So you can just start calling in that night. Um, the reason I put it November 6th is in the next few days, I'm gonna be um, out of town. I'm gonna be on a cruise, so I'm not gonna be available. So if you wanna book tonight, go ahead, go for it, go ahead. I'd love for you to get secure, secure your room, make sure you, that, that you have it, because again, they're gonna go fast. There's only um, 22 and 13, so there's a limited number of state rooms on board. I don't want you to lose your spot. This is a wonderful cruise for wine lovers, so please um, get in touch with me. You can give me a call tonight or text me. Let me know you're interested. Maybe just, just text and say that you're interested and I'll keep you on an email list and give you some more information. Um, so what I'd like for you to do is just go ahead and join my Facebook group, All Love Cruises. If you do that, you'll be able to stay connected a little bit more and you'll learn about other cruises that we take. Um, so again, thank you so much for your time tonight. If you do have questions, post them there on All of Cruises um, group page. That way I'm able to answer it there and answer it so other people might have the same questions that you have and it will help everybody out. Again, $400 will secure your stateroom for you. If you need to find another roommate to secure the whole stateroom. Um, so get that family, get that friend, um, get a stateroom, get it now before they get sold out. Again, the pricing's only through November 30th. So look at the pricing one more time. Write it down. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great night.